How about you? I'm Hank. Welcome to Hamiltonville Farm. We're, well, we're not really at Hamiltonville Farm. We're not really at Hamilton Farm. I'm <laughs> well, Tony. Hey, this is Tony. This is my buddy Tony from Tony's Tractor Adventure. He's got a great YouTube channel. We do a lot of sim similar content. So if you don't watch my tractor videos, go over there and watch those. But also watch Tony's channel, Tony's Tractor Adventure. He actually helped me crank that Volvo Semi. And you've, you've seen that video. If you haven't, I'll link a card up over here. But today, we're in the great state of Kentucky, and we're going to try to crank up this old Ford backhoe. For this particular one we're going to start with today, this is like a no-kidding backhoe right here. I mean, this is the old four-lever kind. and. It is old school. I, I, and look at that chain down there. Holy cow. Yeah, it's got a chain set of a piston. Yeah. Cylinder. Look here. Throttle. Yeah. So you can really see the difference in how old they are. and It's been sitting for many, many years. Grass growing up all in the bucket here. That tire, that tire, we can probably just patch that. It'd be all right, I think, if we just patch that. But that battery looks clean. Look how clean that battery looks. Tony, the battery looks good. So the thing about this particular tractor is it's a 501, uh, according to the data plate on the other side. I don't know. Do you see the year on it? See. Let's see if it's got a year on it. But it's, uh, I'm telling you, man, this thing is stout. But it's been sitting in this blazing hot sun, and everything we touch, we melt our skin on. So Here's the data plate. It's a 19-501 on the loader. So that might not be the actual tractor, but uh, maybe it is. Cause, I don't no, because here's the data plate on the backhoe right up here. What's that say on the backhoe? Uh, I can't read that's that. Five, I think that's a triple nickel. No, it's a 551. Five, 551. Five, yeah, so this is even older. 555, five, five, for you guys that don't know, they call it a triple nickel. Is a, this is a, a, a pre-runner of that one. And uh, that's a famous backhoe. For, in the backhoe world, in the rubber tire backhoe world, the triple nickel is a famous backhoe. So we've determined that, you know, I, I can't do any type of will it start videos without some type of people are like, oh, you need you need leaf blowers. You need fuel cans. You need, you know, socket wrenches. No, I don't need none of that. What I need is wasp spray. That's right. Every time we go somewhere, the daggum wasps are everywhere. I got you some wasp spray. So we, I think we brought some actually, but, you know, I, I seen one flying around. That's all I need to see is one. And I know that they're there. So we're going to find out where they're at and we're going to blast those suckers with some wasp spray so there's an old ford here tony just cranked that do that dozer right there in another video there's actually international sitting right there in between those trees sure? yeah i'm pretty sure <laughs> we've got a, a a couple that we're going to try to tinker around with here check it out i ain't got stung last time so i got him a double pack. listen you're such a good friend dude you're such a good friend <laughs> his and hers his and hers hey wait a minute i said we're getting up in here i just tore it apart Apparently, I ain't smart enough to run this thing. I'm gonna spray wasp spray in my face. Yeah, don't do that. You did it with the winter weather for it. Hey, hey. <laughs> Woo! Uh, one of the first things I like to do, obviously, is check all the fluids, right? So we'll check this oil here. Check for snakes. Let's see here. Oh, yeah, I mean, it might have too much in it. Yeah, that's way, way cool. All right, so now we'll just check some of the other fluids on this side. Over there, he's, he's on his way to go get the multimeter. But uh, this thing's actually a shuttle shift transmission on this old, old thing. So that's pretty cool to see the transmission style that they've got. And so once we check the battery, see if we need to jump it off or replace We brought another battery with us. And, but maybe this one's a, you know, look how clean it is. Come here, Tony. It's, uh, it says 716 on the sticker. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, we're going to have to replace the cable for sure. We need the old negative uh, cable. A, you can put a band-aid on it. Yeah. All right, so that's just a little little corroded there. We'll have to doctor that Ooh. up. All right, so now check to see if it's got any water in it. Let's see here. Oh, yeah, it does. I don't know if you can set, if that showed up on camera, but it's got plenty of water in it. Yeah, it's, it's plenty. A lot of people ask, you know, hey, what do you do with these old things when you crank it? Well, this thing's in Kentucky, and I live in Florida. So if we get this thing cranked up, I'm not, I'll never see this backhoe again. But a lot of you have been asking about the John Deere backhoe of my father-in-law's place. I'm going to ride back out there just for you guys and give you an update on that so the next one of the next videos you see about the backup will be that old john deere 310 that we had that we never could get cranked up maybe we'll have better luck with this ford what you got tony <laughs> ain't gonna let me recover from that uh, i see some shiny fluid in there okay uh, enough to turn it over yeah yeah there it is. so we've got we've got oil or earl or oil 
How do you say that, Tony? It just depends on where you're yeah, from. Yeah, yeah. So whether you want to be made fun of or not. <laughs> so we've got we got oil, we've got uh, water and, and fuel. Man, I, this thing's gonna crank. I already know it's gonna crank, right? Tony, is it gonna crank? It's gonna crank. All right. That's so where you, get the you, got, you got you got to go. You got to cross your fingers. And make sure this thing cranks up. All right. Just a couple more little things to do. Then we're gonna check it out and see if we can actually turn this thing over. So the more we look at this thing, we think it's just a tractor with a backhoe attachment on it. If you look at the back side of this tractor, it's got a place for your top link on your three-point hitch. And you can see a kind of a cover where they covered up the PTO output shaft and then built the subframe for the backhoe. So this was probably, you know, a 500 or a 5000 series. You guys let me know in the comments below. But this was probably a 500 or a 5000 series Ford tractor. And then one of the options for that particular year or something was to add this massive backhoe on the end. I mean, n nothing compared to today's backhoes for sure. I mean, look at the size of this thing. It's, it's gargantuan. One really cool thing about this backhoe was probably detachable, right? And so if you look at this, this bolt right here, it goes all the way down here. And then this rests in the subframe. See it rests in that cradle, that pin. So that's a detachable backhoe. So that's pretty cool, man. It's, you know, to, see, to learn more about these and the history of some of these pieces of equipment is pretty neat, you know, because then you get a respect for how well things are built nowadays and how much work our, our forefathers had to do to get things done. But, you know, when this first thing, <laughs> when this thing first came out, they were like, this is the bee's knees right yeah, here, yeah, man. Awesome. Now yeah, awesome. We'll and probably so, take a day to take the backhoe off, and now we can take a backhoe off in three minutes. Yeah, that's right, man. So, all right, let's get the hydraulic fluid. I don't know how we got down this rabbit hole, but I'm going to check the hydraulic fluid now. All right, so the fluids are good. Hey, 12.2, my friend. It's not fully charged, but not, hey. You're not, it's not full, but it'll work. Let's see what we can do. I told you, it looked clean. It looked really clean. Let me show what we're going to have to do there to make oh. this work. So let me show y'all something right quick here. Check this out. You know, we showed you that this broke. Well, we got to... We got a solution. Why in the world are you working with Tony? The only reason I brought Tony here, that's a camera woman, by the way. Say hey, Tony. Uh, so the only reason I brought Tony was he's going to hold that. I'm going to hold this. <laughs> I'm going to hold it like this right here and, because the, the, the cable broke out. So I'm just going to hold it like this while he tries to tank it over. Yeah. Hey, so it I told, don't hurt a little bit. I told Tony, I told him, I said, listen, dude, if you're going to go with me, if the cable breaks, you've got to be the one to hold it, okay? And he was like, yeah, absolutely, man. Good He's good. prior army, so you got to... <laughs> hey, that's hot. <laughs> that's hot, dude. Holy cow. All right, let's try this thing. I hope his seat's been in the shade long enough, because this rest of this track is hot. It is hot. I want to point this out, because Hank will not let me bring vice grips in a full <laughs> toolbox. <laughs> So my dumb butt's gonna be out here yeah. with a pair of channel locks holding this on. I told him I said, "Hey, listen, dude, you're not you're only gonna bring a, a pair of vice grips if you, uh, or crescent wrenches with me here." All right, so I got this thing cranked down. All right, let me crank it. Let me put this in neutral. It's only gonna hurt a minute. Let's try it, you know too. Yeah. All right, look, let's. If he starts spazzing out, we know we got going on. Ready? All right, here we go. Hey, I got a light on the dash. Here we go. Woo! Fire! Fire! There was a fire, literally there was a fire. Okay, the battery turned was loose down here. Let's turn that off. Yeah. Alright, well you know it's easy to disconnect the battery. All I gotta do is just <laughs> you know remove the channel locks. Oh I did oh, I smell it. Yeah, it's old or something. I ain't gotta worry about uh short now for sure. Yeah. Do you want me to show you where it was? It could be inside the uh, starter there. Ain't no telling how long that starter there's been sitting. Alright. Probably waspers. Waspers! Waspers, you wanna try it again? Yeah. Alright. Okay, right. we're gonna try it again. I'll do anything twice. Alright, let's I'm go. This is take two here. Take two. Let me let me get my battery cable up here. Hold on. You know what? Let me run this around a better way. Yeah, you might want to move your foot too. <laughs> Just get in a, case. Get an egress plan going. I am. I'm going to fall off backwards. All right, go with it, Hank. All right, I got light. Ready? No. This battery been sitting out here like three, four years. Yeah. I can't believe it's got 12 volts in it, to be honest with you. Yeah. It's dead as a door now. All right, so we're going to move on to a new battery all right so we got we brought a new battery with us but this one looked nice and clean so we're gonna but evidently it's not charged enough so let's put a new battery in it so we're stealing the batteries out of this but we're not really stealing the batteries uh we're actually we brought this i told you tony cranked this dozer in a video that he did a while ago so we're just going to take the battery out of this because we know it's charged and we'll put it over there in the in the back of but they there's wasp hey listen y'all get stung I'm no, there's a there's a couple of wasps running around a here. So. Of my <laughs> so just, hey, it's nice being the cameraman. Why they make them so heavy? I wonder. Me and Tony grunt a lot. He's older than I am, though. Uh -huh. <laughs> 
<laughs> Man, you guys, y'all need to come hang out with us because we have a lot of fun. We find this old equipment to go start and sometimes we get stung by wasps. Luckily, we ain't found no snakes yet. We're not that far from the lake. All right, I want to get the technical specifications yeah. back set up yeah. on what's this. All, what's the operator's manual say for the... the... Holding battery yeah. <laughs> cables. All right, here we go, ready? All right, here we go. Here we go. Okay. At least that other one bumped over. 12.74, that's a full battery. Pretty close to it anyway. Yeah. It's got plenty of cranking out. I'm pretty sure it's the, the ground. I'm pretty sure it's the ground. So we're not getting nothing with the key. So I think that maybe we'll try to jump it uh, at the starter with a screwdriver. What do you think? Yeah, they, the uh, solenoid kind of smoked just a little bit when we first cranked it, tried to crank it. So it's only been sitting here two or three, four years. I don't understand what would go wrong. <laughs> Can't hold the key. We're gonna do this in the summer, man. Why can't we do this in the fall when it's nice and cool? Why you always gonna do this? Yeah. Somebody said the only week their schedule was open was this week. I don't know. We need to whoop that down. <laughs> Whew. So much grease and gunk on the starter. Yeah. So we're actually back. This is day two at this Ford backhoe uh, because yesterday we had to stop because we had forgot something. Uh, we forgot we hated working in 100 degree weather. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, I'm telling you, man, yesterday was so hot. So we're back out here this morning, and we're going to finish up. So what we've done, we went to, we actually went to the auto parts store yesterday, and instead of Tony having to use the channel locks to, to hold the ground wire to the battery, we actually bought new terminals, so we'll be good there. And then uh, I think we're going to try it first just to see and then uh we'll start looking at the starter or stuff like that and hopefully get this thing fired up and get some juices flowing in the old hydraulic system you know what i'm saying come on now i'm breaking hank's rules hey so so me and tony had this discussion last night you know when we were over over dinner and did i buy dinner last night or did you buy dinner last night because uh, <laughs> i talked i tried to talk him into buying and i don't think you did so yeah i think i, I don't know I, you know what after my little bit of a heat stroke yesterday uh, <laughs> i don't remember much yesterday <laughs> so we were at dinner last night and i thought you know we were talking and, and tony was like dude we gotta use more than a crescent wrench and i said all right man so we're gonna we're gonna at least use some sockets and ratchets and stuff so we we're breaking the rule the little three 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 tool limit rule we've got but you know sometimes you got to do what you got to do yeah but then people out there with them they give them ten thousand dollars snap on boxes they're, <laughs> they're still gonna say it's like you're not using the right tool yeah 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 so i'm gonna use this ratchet as a hammer i guarantee it yeah that's right that now that the manual part is over we'll slap this bad boy up on the battery i need to loosen that up so there oh, we reach yeah it wasn't much the much play to begin with ain't gonna I don't know what to do with a clean battery terminal. It's negative, so we ain't gonna arc out on nothing. Hey, listen, you know, you can take Coca-Cola and, and uh, pour it on batteries and it'll clean them up mm -hmm. for you. I run a pocket knife around the inside of one. Oh, yeah. One. Hey, listen. All right, let's get it. All right, let's try it. Let's just start. I mean, let's try it. Yesterday it bumped over, right? Uh, it made smoke. Yeah, it made smoke. It made right. smoke. Here we go. Got a, got a red light. Uh-oh. Keep it, bumping it. Keep it if the... You guys gave me down the road for hitting the starter in that greater video. But, you know, listen, sometimes you got to do it. There's a difference between hitting the Bendix and the starter. Well, you got to learn where to hit it. There's you know? a difference between a starter nowadays and a starter <laughs> yeah, yeah, and this right. patch right here. This is a cast iron case. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Master key to all old equipment. <laughs> okay. I love it. Yeah. Uh. All right. Here we go. <gasps> oh, look at that. Smoke. We're going to. Work, work on that right there, see that smoke coming out of there? Probably oil on the starter. Yeah, watch this. <clears throat> oh, that's actual flame coming out of that bad boy. Yeah. What we're going to do is we're going to take this starter off and look at it and see. Probably not going to rebuild the starter. Maybe we will, I don't know. Let me see what's going on behind there. Give me a smaller one, please. Sir. Smaller? Yeah, give me, a, give me a half inch here. Yes, we did disconnect the battery cable. <laughs> It's pretty loose on there. But only after the second arc. Yeah, that's right. That you know, this thing actually arced once and we didn't get it on camera. I said, hey man, they look good getting that on camera. Let's do it again. Let's try to kill ourselves once one one more time. This has got years and years of grease built up. Junk built up on it. Oil and all kind of stuff. Yeah, so that's bad connection plus plus oil. Tony, thanks, buddy. 
<laughs> I dropped the dog on nut off the starter. Beautiful thing about these old ones though is everything is standard and readily available. Yeah, it's we're in good shape now. We cleaned up that terminal. If the starter is bad on the inside, we're probably gonna take it off and we'll have to fix that and bring it back another day. You mean I drove all the way to Kentucky to have yeah. a bad starter? That's right. <laughs> no promises here. It was an as is warranty. Hey, you did say that, didn't you? All right cleaned up the terminals a lot of times and i've mentioned this earlier in, in several videos but a lot of times grounding issues will be a lot of, of a big cause of not starting you know old fuel obviously air in the system but grounding issues sometimes are the quickest easiest ways to look for engines that won't crank you know and especially if you have something that's been sitting out in the field where rodents or mice can get to it the possibility that they chew through something all right you gonna get in the cockpit we get in that cockpit and it's hot all right, let's just see if it would crank on its own now. Just, I think that relay's messed up up there, but if not, we'll, we'll jump it with screwdriver again. Yeah, nothing. All right. Yeah, this this key is really sticking. Yeah. Wait a minute. Uh oh. Let me put that back on. Uh, I remember we we took that this wire off while we were cleaning it up. Now go ahead and try it now with by the key. Nothing. Mm -mm. All right. Damn. That was worth a shot. All right, here we go. Uh oh. Still. Burn all that oil stuff off my inside starter. Yeah. We're gonna need some starting fluid to put my. Put hey, my, you don't fuck a hole in that tire now. Put my you screw, ruined it. That's a screwdriver holder. <laughs> Screwdriver hose, so you won't lose it. Yeah. Uh, so All let's right. get at least some starting fluid. Alright, hold up. I mean, uh, the air filter's kind of hard to get to, huh? Yeah, but this is, looks like it's going to be loose right here. Yeah, I think you're right. So you pull down on that and I pull up. Alright. There you go. Alright. Look here. That, we, can, we can put some starting fluid right in. Look at that, huh? I think. Yep, yeah, there you go. Alright, let's try that. Alright, here we go. Alright, you ready? Yeah, get me.
Hey, hey, check that out, huh? Man, are you guys getting exci more excited about this stuff than I? It's awesome. Listen, this thing, this has not been run in years and years, and it's just been. It was, it was old when it got here, <laughs> <laughs> and then, then it hadn't been run in years and years, and then it actually moves. Yeah, that's amazing. That's, that's amazing. amazing. Let's, let's take a look at this right quick. Check this out, y'all. We hope that that's just all burning off of of stuff. But man, was that not cool? That was awesome to see that come back to life. You know, to have it crank up like that, and then to, let me turn this key off, and then to see the actual cylinder start to actuate and and get the th the juices flowing in this old beast again. Oh, it's a forty five hundred. It says it right here on the tractor. <laughs> well, I said five thousand series yesterday. I'm such a knucklehead. And you know, oh, yeah. sometimes sometimes uh, you can't see the forest for the trees, as they say. Well, there you go. It's a forty-five hundred. Hank, there's a good chance that this tractor was made before we were born. <laughs> Just a little bit. Well, maybe I was born. Oh uh, wait, come on. That's that much <laughs> hey, this would be a nice time to have a sure can. Oh, it would be one now. Huh? Come on now. Yeah, I'm picking up. Yeah. Six gallons of diesel. Yeah. All right, here we go. You didn't spill too much. Yeah. <laughs> Grass is not gonna go here for a couple weeks. Yeah, it's gonna maybe a year or two. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't say you spilled half a gallon. No, I'm just kidding. No. You know, we're talking as we're filling this thing up. We just assumed it ran out of fuel. We don't know if that's the case or not. I don't know. You wanna, you wanna try to start again? Yeah, let's try it. I mean, obviously, let me put it in neutral here. We we seen we had some diesel in it, uh, but we really didn't know how much was in it. Right. There. Yeah. And if you guys don't know anything about old diesels, they don't like to run out of fuel. It takes forever to prime them. And oh, I don't even know if this has a primer pump on it. So we're going to use the, the magic primer. <laughs> and, uh... Try it again. Right, here we go. Ah. Watch out how hot that gets. Ah. Come on, Betsy. Little throttle there. I think oh, so. I hate using that stuff. You hear how hard it's hitting? Oh, I hear it, man. Ah. 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 Oh, she wants to so bad. Uh oh, the flame. <laughs> I need a little help. A little help from my friends. I don't know, Tony. I don't know. I think we're gonna catch it on fire. Yeah. <laughs> you know what's crazy is all my will it start videos. I can't get that John Deere backhoe to crank. Got this old Ford back out of crank. You know, everything that we haven't got cranked on this channel has been John Deere. Go figure. So, will it start? Yes. yes. Will it run? Yeah. Uh, maybe. Eventually. <laughs> Eventually. We're going to fix the starter first, yeah. though. I'll, yeah. I'll come back and rebuild the starter. Yeah, I know. We don't want irreparable damage to, to you know, Set plus it, it ain't, I know, say that fast three times, Irre right? Irreparable. Irreparable. Irre irreparable. Irre irre oh, that's a big word for me. Well, irresponsible might be a big word for us, too. Well, that's probably be more fitting <laughs> for me, though. <laughs> I'm sitting so, here with sparks and <laughs> sparks and starting fluid yeah. and the screwdriver Lord. going, hey, what could go wrong? Hey, listen, I was back here praying for you, though. I I was like, Lord, Lord, keep a hand over Thank me. Thank you, I appreciate <laughs> it. So this thing was awesome. And we, you know, a little more TLC on this thing. And I think you can get it back in business, put some new tires on it and stuff. Shoot, man, that thing was awesome. Hey, them back tires are good, man. The back tires are good. <laughs> hey, listen, we appreciate you watching over. Tony's left shoulder over here is going to be a little white circle. Word. Uh, yeah, underneath that is another circle for his channel. Make sure you subscribe to Tony's Tractor Adventure. You guys take care. We'll catch you on the next one.